So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in web security in which we'll be taking a look at an attack known as slow loris attack which is based on the last video on the content which we covered in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, uh, make sure you see that. So in the last video we saw how HTTP protocol works, what it is and how it actually works. So let's just go ahead and really quickly see once more how HTTP protocol works. So I can use netcat as the utility to actually open raw TCP sockets to any host. Now in this case I'm using google.com on port 80. So once I do that what you're going to see is now I have a raw TCP socket opened and I can communicate with google.com on port 80 using HTTP protocol. So I'm just going to say that I want to get the slash that is the home resource using the http 1.1 protocol and i want to say the host is google.com and once i say that you're going to see that google responds with the following content that it has been moved to www.google.com and finally when you visit this url it will actually redirect you to the secure version of all right so once we have this particular thing working what you could see is that when i write something like this and I'm basically doing, you know, get slash HTTP slash 1.1. When I hit enter, this particular line right here is actually transferred to the remote server, right? So at this particular point, the google.com host is actually waiting for me to send more data. It's not that when I write everything, all of that is sent at once. No, when I'm writing this line and when I hit enter, that particular data is sent to google.com so if i write host google.com hit enter again this particular line is being sent and google is now waiting for more data so i can have x header one as some more data x header two some more data so on and so forth and you can see right now google is still waiting for me to complete my request right so once i you know hit enter again then google actually parses whatever I have sent and responds me with a valid response. So slow loris attack is basically um, based on the following working. So in the normal HTTP request which is just what we performed right now I send a request and the server responds right. In slow loris attack it's a kind of a distributed denial of service attack it's not really DDoS you can actually just DOS using slow loris using a single machine as well. So what this does is that it would open a lot of incomplete HTTP requests. By that, what I mean is that I would just keep on, you know, opening sockets, that is keep on opening HTTP connections like, like this one. And, you know, I'll just keep sending some data so that it does not die out. You know, so I have, for example, this is one socket for, I, if I open hundreds of sockets, and I keep on sending, you know, data every, let's say, three or four seconds. Then the remote server would think that my internet connection is slow. But actually what I'm doing is I'm exhausting the limit of the connections at that, at that particular remote server. Because I'll be opening a lot of TCP connections and the remote server would be opening a lot of threads. Like if you're using Apache as the web server, then Apache uses threads for handling different connections so you can exhaust the thread pool of that particular server to bring that server down right so for example let me just go ahead and right here go to my PHP server from the last video so we have what we have if you see we just have a simple PHP server which says hello world so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this PHP server at port 1234 right now what I do is I just go to localhost that is my same computer 1234 get slash 1.1 host 1 and it works just like fine right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make use of this script right here which is a simple script which does exactly what I talked about like opening a lot of connections at first and then you know just keeping them alive and if I'm able to keep them alive and open a lot of connections, then I could bring down the host. So you can see right here, I'm 
starting from i equal to zero to the socket options and i'm adding sockets um, at every connection so you can see that i have my options set up like the following so my host is localhost my port is one two three four i'm opening 2000 simultaneous connections i'm not respawning the connections which have died out right um, the rate is basically how much you want to send the packets that is the interval of your you know sending the packets so i'm sending a tcp packet every um, 600 milliseconds that is the rate method is the type of request you want to perform get is fine and the path is basically the path of the request right so now what happens if i run this index js what you're going to see it starts activating sockets and right here if you focus in the area below you see that our server actually closes it right because the server goes down again let's try this one more time and run the node script again so you see that around thousand connections the php server is unable to handle that particular so how do we know that uh, this is different let's see what happens if i actually close the connection so right here the part which is responsible for keeping the collection connection alive is this particular thing right so what happens if i just say socket right is a new line and that's it right and now i comment this particular piece of code which is basically um this particular piece, right so we are not keeping the collection alive now so what happens if i start the php server again and run the same script? you're gonna see that now my php server is very well able to handle all the connections and it does not go down so you see it still it still lives right we could see that i could still perform a get request to this particular server and it still responds but once i try to keep the connections alive in case of the slow loris attack you're gonna see just like you saw that it basically crashes the remote server right so again there we go around a thousand connections we're gonna see our server actually goes down so this is a simple this was a simple demonstration of slow loris attack how it works and basically how um you know you could use this to exploit servers and again just make sure you use this content for educational purposes only do not pen test on any other site because that is not only illegal but would actually get you in real trouble so um measures to actually prevent this is basically rate limiting the connection limit per ip that is the you know easiest way i can think of so you do not really want to allow a thousand simultaneous connections open from the same ip address right now ddos handling is something which is very different and should be left to companies like cloudflare but for simple practical preventions just rate limit your ip address for a connection limit maybe like 50 or 60 connections so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you like it don't forget to subscribe and like the video share the video thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one